Hey everybody, Marcus C. Williams here. And we're over here at the Plug Smoke Shop, as you can see behind me right here on Park Avenue, right? So these people got ran through with a car, right? Like we keep seeing all of this crime, right? Like we keep seeing people hitting these businesses and destroying their property. It's disgusting, it's terrible. And it's affecting nicer and nicer communities now. And this is a very serious issue, but people don't wanna talk about it. Our elected officials refuse to do anything about it. People keep seeing more and more and more violence and destruction all across the city. Park Ave is a pretty nice neighborhood, you would say, right? But now we see the crime even happening over here. This is a shame and its impact on all businesses and public safety. If we keep seeing businesses destroyed and impacted by stuff like this in our city, in our community, and none of our elected officials doing anything about it, businesses are gonna flee. We already see many businesses struggling to even survive after COVID nonsense. And now we're seeing this tick up of crime and violence of destruction of businesses in large amounts with these smashing grabs. It's a shame. Our elected officials refuse to do anything about it. It's costing businesses money and not everybody can immediately work to repair their business like fortunately they were able to. So this is something that we need to be talking about. Where is our city council? Why isn't city council taking action against the, the vicious crimes that are impacting the businesses that we are seeing and experiencing every day? Where is our state assembly? Where is our state senators? They've passed these laws like bail reform, less is more, raise the age and everything like this that is allowing these criminals to be empowered and feel as though there are no repercussions for the serious crimes that they are doing that are impacting our neighborhoods and communities. It's a very, very, very serious issue. They refuse to reform these laws on the state level. They refuse to reform any of them. They won't even talk about them. And we see more and more and more this continues to impact small businesses and regular community safety, but they won't let you talk about that. They don't want to hear about that. They won't even say anything on that. Have you heard one of our state elected officials stand up and say what's happening to our businesses in our community, in our city, is a problem and needs to be addressed? No, not a single one of them. And this is impacting all of us because now people don't feel safe. People feel as though they're not able to even go to the stores in their own neighborhoods or maybe even open the businesses that they might have considered opening in their own neighborhoods because of stuff like that. Now, where are these people that you have elected, that you have voted for, or maybe you haven't voted for them at all? But regardless, they're supposed to be representing you. Our state elected officials, state assembly, state senate, the people who have passed these laws that have allowed crime to continue to itch up, up, and up, those are the people that you need to be holding accountable. Those are the people whose offices you need to gather with your friends, families, and other business owners to go and knock on their doors every single day, okay? And demand that they do something about reforming the laws that they have passed that are so drastically impacting our city so much so that it's even impacting the nicer neighborhoods and the nicer communities now. Isn't it about time that you stood up? What will it take you and your friends to start taking action to demand that we have general public safety and a feeling of community prevention of crime. We don't. You call the police, the police can't respond, they don't have enough people, or you call the police, the police got you on hold. Not the police, but emergency services, you know what I'm talking about, okay? We don't have enough police because city council has worked to defund the police. They'll tell you they haven't, but they have. Then we've got a very serious attrition problem in the police with all the police leaving because the city council is so anti-police. And we've got some good members on city council too, but they won't speak up in support of the police. Where are they publicly saying that we need more police, saying that we need somebody to take action on public safety? Where are they? Why are they not being held accountable? People get mad at the mayor, but this isn't the mayor's doing. The mayor's responsibilities 
are completely separate. This is city council. This is the state assembly. This is the state senators. These are the people who are doing this. And those are the people you need to hold accountable. Reach out to your local elected officials. Find out where their offices are. Gather your friends, gather your family, and demand from them that they work on reforming these laws that have been so dramatically horrible for our community and continue to impact the quality of life where we live. You guys, it's time to take action, it's time to unite, it's time to come together, and it's time to demand that our elected officials provide us with a reasonable sense of safety, which is their only job. You guys, I'll catch you later. Be blessed, be well, and remember, stand up, speak up, and don't shut up. Take action.